Hey, this is Stephen from Legit Tech Tutorials, and we are going to be on number tutorial number eight of Java extending. So this is beginning Java eight, um, extending a class. So this is about inheritance, uh, is the bigger word for it. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do inheritance, what it's about, and uh, continue on writing some programs. So uh, first. Uh, we're not going to write it straight out. We're just going to um, use uh, the the stuff in the wizard in order to extend something. So here uh, we have our employee class, and we're going to extend it to a manager. So what is um, extending? Extending is means that you have a super class, and then you have a subclass or child class. So in this case, employee is going to be our super class, and our child is going to be a subclass. Now, people write programs usually do it this way. They write from the bottom up to the top because that way as you go up, you get the previous levels um, methods and stuff, but you add more. So you get that extra that extra stuff from each previous one. Uh, and then if you don't need the previous level stuff, then you then you go to the level before that and you kind of have you build something called a hierarchy tree, which is certain things extend certain things, other things don't extend other things, things like that. So you could build you know a tree by you know drawing it out on a piece of paper to see where it goes. Now uh, I'll show you what the uh, what the what the option why you would do something like that. So let's go ahead and go new class, and then this is so easy to do. Here it says super class, and this is Java Lang object, which is standard Java object. But we're gonna go here and type in employee, and you notice there it pops up. Very smart. Uh, Eclipse is a very smart program, but we could also do something like you know student is there, uh, employee is there, and uh, like you just show, showed you test is there. So we're gonna go employee. I'm gonna say that's our super class, and then we're gonna say uh, this is originally unchecked. So we're gonna say constructors from the super class and public static main and then we're going to call this a manager now we're going to go ahead and finish comes up with our manager automatically has the stuff that we need here so I'll go ahead and explain this here for you so um, here all you need to do to do inheritance is just have this word extends employee and then it adds everything in there now what you can't see is that we do have all of the previous methods from the last class you don't need to write it again that's why they came up with this so you don't have to write it a second time so uh, in here it's calling to the um, even even the even the variables from the previous class are also in this class but they're not equal they're of a new um, uh, they're, they're of a new instance right because you're creating it here, right? So it, the, they're they're zeroed out. They're all zeroed out, just like you see an employee. They're zeroed out here. They're null, which is nothing. So this is basically the same thing as equals null, right? It's the exact same thing. Null means nothing. So you don't have to really worry about that. So uh, yeah, and then also another practice that I would like to let you know about is that all of these are supposed to be private. The reason being is that now that we're doing cl uh, methods, getters and setters, the getters and setters are how you interface with those variables. So that, uh, for example, I don't just say go into manager and create a new employee and do a employee, which would be the name dot wage equals there. And now I just set it. You know, whether there was a getter or setter there, it doesn't matter. It would let me get it if it was a public variable but if it's a private variable you can't do that so that's just a good um, programming practice so let's just pretend that all these are private I would do that on yours if you have it so just do private for all of these variables and then everything else is going to be public all this is going to be public so you can only interface with things that are public inside you know down here in the main you can't you can't mess around with anything private which is a good a good thing. That's that's the, the common practice. So in this case uh, here, it just calls to the the previous constructor of the super class and sets everything else for you. So basically, the super is the is the reserved name, 
and it basically just jumps in here and does what it did in here and you could also use that to um, you know you just do super you say something here like super dot you know get wage I mean set wage because basically in the compiler uh, when, when you have a super class of course we didn't have to do that earlier but in the compiler it naturally says this dot whatever you put that means that only this this type manager right it, it, it automatically infers that you're talking about this particular object in this case you, you would go to say super means look in the previous super class and do what it says there so that 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 is a uh, pretty useful but in this case in this uh, particular one here we're not going to really do too much with that so let's say uh, we want to extend more of uh, the the previous one so the empl uh, the manager is going to have more options so we're going to say string um, store managed and then we're going to close that and then we're going to say string a store managed and then we're going to set it in here store managed equals a store managed and now let's say uh, we're going to do some stuff in here that you cannot do in the previous class so we're going to say something like um, we're going to say uh, um, a, a method of void set uh, employee wage and then we're going to do something interesting in here that you don't see elsewhere. Uh, the reason why why we didn't do it before is we weren't extending anything. So now let's say we have something like uh, void set employee wage. You could pass in as a parameter an a actual object. And there you go. And then we're going to say double a wage. Now we're not going to actually add anything to this because you can't you can't go into employee and change his things if they're all private. We're going to do that later when we learn how to write files, write document files. So it's basically going to be that this one has different methods that could go in and change more things than the employee rather than actually going to change its instance variables, it's going to go in and change the file. So that would be something that, you know, if, if an, an actual program was running, you know, an actual enterprise program, you know, like a cashier thing, and it prints up your hours, right? That That is something similar to that. It goes through a file and says, oh, these, file, the, this, this, these hours are saved and things like that. So this is just an example. Of course, this here won't, you cannot find this in an employee. You can only find this in manager. A manager is the only one that has access to this. And then we could go uh, set employee um, shift. And then we're going to say employee, uh, a employee um, string date for shift, right? A date. And then that's going to do something. That would, you know, mess around with the file, uh, change the file. And that, that would be a few tutorials in the future. We're going to go over file writing. Okay, so. Now let's go ahead and, and see what, what the difference is here between a um, uh, something that extends something else, the inheritance, the super class versus the subclass or child class. So uh, we're going to say um, employee. So we're going to create an employee. So we're going to say a employee equals um, employee. And we're going to say Bob. Dylan or some crap, uh, Bob uh, Smith. Bob Smith, the wage is 15. And then we say position is clerk. And there you go. That's all that we needed from there. Oops, forgot to do, I forgot to type in new here. New, create new instance. Okay. Now, a employee right has all the previous stuff from the last one as you can see here you know get wage get hours which we know because it's in there it's already in there they're all right here but now what happens if you do a manager so we're gonna say Steven equals new manager 
and we're going to say Steven M or say like 50 store manager and we're going to say what store he manages we'll say like Melpitas now you notice that we have this extra piece here that we don't have here that's because we modified the constructor of the super and added uh, what store he manages right and then we added that here so you know that's why we got it but the question is now if I do if I type in Steven and then do the dot which means go to right what would pop up it should only pop up this right but no it does not why is it not doing it? Hold up, let me get rid of this guy. But not. You still see the check in, check out. All the stuff from the previous class that it is extending are all in here. And, ex and more right here. Here's the two extra ones we added. So th those come along as well. And you see all the other ones right there are the same thing. So if I do Steven dot you know check in because you know the manager still needs to check in as well it still works even though there's no class in here saying anything about that it's in the previous super class that we have that and it still works even in this class but then if you go steven dot set employee shift it says you know hey man that's a that's a we want a employee it says hey man that's a no-go there's no method in there st stating that because it's only in the manager so that way the employee cannot go upstream and get extra access to things that aren't in his class and also, you know, you could do uh, uh, you could do Steven dot get wage, right? And go continue, except for its return type. So, there you go. Now it should return it. There you go. So, uh, and that's not even in here. We don't even have a variable called wage here, but it's in the previous class. So, so that's that, that's what you need to understand is that the previous class uh, has all that stuff in there, even though you can't see it, and you can still mess around with it and and, and still do the that type of work from the previous one. Now, um, another thing that you could do is you could also, you know. You could override, so let's say double get wage. Now you could override, this is overriding something. So we're overriding that previous one and we're doing something new. So we say double get wage and it's going to ask for a return type. So we're going to say return uh, wa wage, right? It's not even there. So we're we're just gonna do super dot get wage. So it just basically goes on top of each, it, itself. So basically, what we're saying here is we're saying we want to. Uh, but first, we're gonna go um, system dot out dot print ln. I'm gonna say manager accessing wage. So here, basically, what we're saying is we're saying do exactly what it says in the previous in the in the super class. So we're saying we're going to add something before, or you could have it after. So we're going to add something before or after the previous um, super class. But of course, you can't do it after because once it goes to return, oops. Once it goes to return, it's done. It's out. It leaves that method right. That this is like an end thing. So now when we go to uh, um, system dot out dot print print ln 
and we go back to this, now that we changed it, we actually have it written right here. See, manager, now it says manager accessing wage, but if you go to, if you copy this, and then you say a employee, a employee, it doesn't, it doesn't do this. That's because we went and changed it in this instance of this object so it's only going to work in this object. It's not going to work in the employee object. So that way we could add, um, for example, if we have something there that we want to add to, we could add that and still not have an uh, employee be able to access it. So that way we could add, um, add functionality, extended functionality to the class that's extended to it. And you do that by doing super.getWage. So let's say if it wasn't, let's say if this was in there, you do super dot, you know, set employee shift, and then you say, I want to write more after that. But of course, you can't do that if you have a return statement, because once the return statement happens, uh, so for example, if I cut this, paste it there, it's going to say, you know, hey this this can't be reached because it's you know after return statement but in this case we got it here so we're all good and I guess I could go on but uh, this is basically what you need to know is that you could still go in and access the super method by doing super dot get wage and it goes back to the to this one's get wage and does that and then we could extend so so this is overriding previous um, previous uh, methods even though that they are brought in here but you can't see them because it's this extended here and that you could do this here super again and you could also change the constructor to add new things and add a new variable that is not available employee uh, add new methods that are not available in in the previous uh, super class and um, also you know at you know because it still can construct both here and it still retains all the methods from the previous classes. That's the most important part of this and we are going to also extend on from this as well in future uh, future tutorials as we get more acquainted to this type of uh, this type of option here. So this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials and this is uh, tutorial number eight on extending an inheritance. Well, in extending an inheritance are the same thing. So. Uh, we are going to go on to the next tutorial, which is going to be array and array lists. Finally, we're getting to lists, and then we're going to do some problem solving, and then do some uh, probably um, interfaces. So, uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial, and subscribe for more tutorial series and uh, the next video. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.